Hi viewers! First and foremost I want to say thank you for all the people who watch my videos and subscribe to my channel and comment under my videos for all your suggestions and the warm welcome in the 3D printing community. In the last video I talked about potentially printing with the Sovol SV08 without the front cover and the front fan and also how that led to an improvement on the printer that you can do yourself very easily. I'm gonna tell you about that improvement later on. But first, to lift the mystery about the lightest Sovol SV08 printhead in the world, yes, you can totally print without this front cover and this cooling fan, at least when it comes to PLA. And here is the proof. This was the first larger complicated print I did after I butchered my hot end in the last video. I didn't do any extra setups or anything. Since I carried the printer around a lot, I did a set offset calibration and a bed mesh, downloaded a complicated print from Thingiverse, sliced it with the automatic supports and sent it on the printer. Potentially crooked hot end and everything and it worked. And after I took all the freaking supports off, this is what I got. A little Augustus figurine. As you can see in these uh, photographs here, the layers are actually pretty damn nice. The layer adhesion is really, really good. Actually, in a few places a little bit too good, which is the reason why I uh, snapped off the guys right hand, I mean left hand. When you print PLA, you really don't need that front cover, which reduces the print head weight by roughly 30 grams. And I have to say, just from feeling, I didn't have a chance to measure it scientifically or something, but just from feeling, the printer feels way smoother, not as jerky as it was before. However, this print was not the first, as I said, after I butchered my hot end. Um, the printer was not hooked up to the computer, so I had to find something to print, and naturally I just went for my little thumb drive here, and the first thing I printed was the Banshee. Um, yeah, let's say it that way. Didn't go so well at first. And then I thought, let's find something else. And I came across a print file that was already on this thumb drive that is delivered with the printer. And I didn't know what it was. So naturally I just printed it. I used the provided G-code, um, which is probably meant to be printed with the unmodified printer with the standard settings because Yeah, didn't turn out so well. Besides, I had somewhat of an issue with under extrusion. I guess my modification was not the greatest to start with. Um, but naturally I thought, well, just give it another shot. So I downloaded the STL file from the thumb drive, ran it through the orca slicer and printed it again. Um, yeah, not really, huh? Because this time I actually fell victim to filament tangle. With this particular spool, it was so bad, it was so bad, it was actually a freaking knot in the filament. You can see here, potentially, how the extruder was just pulling and pulling and pulling, was really gnawing away on the front of the filament and nothing came out. So well, that was another fail. And then I thought it might be time to check on that hot end again. Yeah, it turned out my entire nozzle was buggered up, clogged up and completely fucked. So, 
I put the spare nozzle in, gave this ominous file on the thumb drive another shot in the Orca Slicer, put up some different settings with four wall layers and gyroid infill with 20 or 25 percent and thick bottom layer and thick top layer and then I send it. If you have a production unit of the SV08, you have a file on your thumb drive which is called the filament fixing tool and I have not the slightest idea what the fuck that is. But this is it. This is the second part. It goes together like this. And except for a weird Chinese short on YouTube, I have not found a single person talking about this. What this thing does, you probably guessed it, it prevents this from happening. You print that thing and then it pops on like that. How about that? That's the modification you need. Don't chop up your front, uh, don't chop up your hot end. You don't have to take the cover off on your printer. You don't have to eliminate that front fan even so it works with PLA. But this is a bloody game changer. That's also why this other print came out so nice. Because now this spool runs so smoothly without any jiggling, without any stuttering, without anything. It's just smooth. Without coming undone. No more tangles. And it was right on the thumb drive, delivered with the production unit of the Sobol SV08. So, there you have it. The mod you need, and the other one. Thanks for watching. See you next time.